Hi there, Paul Newsom here. Just had the call that we should be due to swim the English Channel in the next couple of days. It's currently the 31st of August and we've just been given the call that we may be setting off at 4am on Saturday morning, that's the 3rd of September. It's really quite exciting. Some of you have been following our progress over the last, uh, well, last 6 to 12 months basically as we prepare for this English Channel swim. There's been 8 of us have prepared for this over in, um, over in Perth and now the final 3 of us, myself, Paul Downey and Andrew Hunt, are due to swim all on the same day that is Saturday morning. Um, the training has consisted of up to 70 kilometers of swimming per week. That's around about 45 miles for those of you living in the US. Um, the channel is directly behind me here. We're just up at the beautiful Varn Ridge um, um, holiday, ca holiday camp, which is where many, uh, many of the English Channel swimmers come to, uh, come to base themselves. Right behind me here is the English Channel. We're up on the White Cliffs of Dover, as you can probably see. And there, just in the distance, 21 miles or 34 kilometers from where we are right now is uh, is France. We're hoping to uh, to set off from uh, from the Shakespeare Beach at around about 4 a.m. on Saturday morning. And um, given that the we're actually in a, a spring tidal system at the moment, which is not the, the not the most ideal tidal system. Normally, most swimmers would go on a neap tide where the tidal flow is a lot less than what we're going to experience on Saturday. Um, however, we have heard that um, in our proper tidal window which would actually start next week the weather conditions etc are going to be not so favorable so we're going to take the opportunity on saturday morning if we can grab it when the wind should be fairly light and uh, and hopefully it should be a nice blue sunny day like uh, like we've got right now and around about 23 degrees so all these factors play into account our um, skippers have told us that given the uh, the strength of the tide we should be expecting um, an additional time of around about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half or two hours on what we could potentially do had the tides been a little bit lower. So people will always ask the question, if we swim the English Channel, what time did you swim? Now, it's such a hard answer to be able to give. I know in myself how well I'm swimming at the moment and uh, feel confident in my abilities to get across to France and uh, hopefully if all things play, play accordingly, but we really do not know whether that's going to take as little as 10 hours or as much as uh, 18 hours. In fact, a gentleman last night, uh, 70 years old, swam across to France in just under 18 hours on similar sort of conditions to what we should experience on Saturday. So uh, that was an absolutely fantastic achievement by, uh, by that chap and um, hopefully if we can uh, um, repeat his performance and uh, get our name on the, um, on the swimmers board over here at Varn Ridge. Um, all previous channel swimmers have actually got their, their, uh, their nationality flag up there and the time it's taken them to swim across the channel. So uh, we're all very excited as you can probably tell I'm getting quite pumped up for this and uh, really ready to, uh, ready to rock and roll. Um, it's, been a, uh, it's been an interesting ride getting here. We've done many many miles in, in training and uh, we flew in from Australia on, uh, on Friday night so we've been here for about the last three or four days. We got involved in a, uh, in a swim on Sunday afternoon, uh, sorry Sunday morning, uh, a 3.8k swim over in Margate where 95% uh, of the field got washed out to sea and had to be, um, had to be saved by the RNLI lifeguards. Luckily I was um, one of only four or five swimmers who actually made it around the course and I finished second on that particular occasion. So I'm feeling good, feeling confident and uh, can't wait to get out there. So for those of you interested in tracking us, we will uh, have a website, um, channel dare that's d-a-r-e dot com um, where you'll actually be able to track us we should have live gps tracking and also a twitter feed um, adam will actually be uh, updating you as we go along so if you want to get on that twitter feed give us some support like i say there will be myself but also andrew hunts and paul downey also attempting solo swim so we really really love it if you could get behind us and give us some support on saturday because we're going to need it uh, we're going to need the weather gods to be um to be on our side and, uh, and a good bit of fortune. Hopefully we'll um, get across there in, in, in fine form and uh, look forward to the, uh, to the celebratory party afterwards. So thanks very much for tuning into this. We'll see you soon.